attention once again to the head table. We have some very important words from a very important man, the father of the groom, Mr. Romanelli. So, Kenny, those were beautiful words, words, and I'm glad you took care of that instead of myself. So, my name is also John Romanelli, and I am the proud father of the groom. I'd like to welcome everyone here. We have family and friends that are coming from all over the country for this beautiful, joyous occasion. John Vincent asked me if I wanted to say a few words. What's, what, what, what are you laughing at? For those who know, for those of you who know me, you know that there are never a few words. I mean, I've been, I've been noted as telling a couple of stories twice. Just a different version. Uh, but I don't know what happens when a microphone gets in my hand. So, given this, John and Alex, I'm sorry, but I, I postponed the dinner for a couple hours. But the staff is going to bring out some snacks for everybody to hold everyone over. Oh, there you are. Oh, good. I definitely want Fritos. aren't bad either, but the roasted is better for you than the salted ones. And don't worry, there's plenty, because my trunk of my car is filled with boxes of these things. I wanted to make sure everybody had enough to eat. All right. So... All right, so... Folks, if we could just hang in there, it won't be that long. Yeah, right. <laughs> About a year ago, John Vincent asked me, what are you doing May 20th, 2022? We're going to have to bring out the Sergeant of Arms if we don't keep it under control here. <laughs> so May 20th, 2022, so I looked at my phone and I looked at the calendar and I said, I think that's my bowling night, but let me check. I'm available, what is it? And John said, that's the day that Alex and I want to get married. We saw this awesome venue called The Bricks, and we want to get married. So I looked at the calendar and said, John, it's a Friday. Why don't you get married on a Saturday? He said, Dad, where have you been? COVID-19? Weddings have been canceled. Weddings haven't taken place. If we want to wait for a Saturday, we're going to have to wait until Thanksgiving of 2022 or December. And we just don't want to wait that long to get married. Now, I don't understand that because my wife and I dated for 14 years. <laughs> but we've been together 50. <laughs> the woman's a saint. You know, I've been told that I'm not the easiest guy to live with. Even my mother told me that. So, at about the same time that Alex and John announced their engagement, I got so many health problems. And that was, I got diagnosed with cancer. At the time, we didn't know what it was. Didn't know that it was involved surgery and chemotherapy and radiation, and uh, a bunch of other stuff. But Alex, you said to me, Mr. Romo, whatever it is, whatever stage, whatever cancer it is, you gotta fight it, because I want you to be there at my wedding. So, when things got dark, and they got dark, I thought about what you said. And I just tried hard. So I'm here to celebrate and dance at your wedding. I thought I would sing a couple of tunes, but that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. However, um, 
John Vincent, turn around and look at your wife. She's gorgeous, she's beautiful, but that's on the outside. More importantly, she's beautiful on the inside. Loving, she's caring, she's all about family, she's smart, actually she's super intelligent. It's all true, I'm not making up lies, I do that when I sell real estate. <laughs> this, is, this is honest to God, this is honest to God, true. She's compassionate, she's caring, she's honest, it's true. Hmm. She's a nurse. You know what, Jamie? I think you married a younger version of another woman in your life, and that being your mother. So you know what, dude? You and I share the same name, but we share something else besides our name. And that is, although I'd like to say I had the same golf game, six pack or eight pack or whatever your abs are. I mean, I can't even say I ever enjoyed that. <laughs> Maybe a little bit of golf, but not much. But you know what we share? We share the fact that we both married up. So. <laughs> On behalf of myself, my wife, Marianne, my beautiful daughter, Mara, we officially welcome you Romanelli family and your family. And this also means that you don't have to call me Mr. Romo anymore. <laughs> you can call me Dad. Yeah. But you cannot call me Daddy O, as that's strictly reserved for me. <laughs> so, on behalf of all of us, we wish you happiness. I couldn't be happier. I thought I was going to start crying. I did pretty good, I thought. <laughs>